Hello YouTube, Triumph Guy here today and I'm going to show you how seven ways on how to connect two cables and this is my caravan playlist for the electrical systems, alright? So I'm going to show you solar and all them other bits in future videos, how to make these cool lights, how to set up a 12 volt rig from scratch. But let's get into today's video on how to do the connection. So here's some of the bits we're going to be using today and here's some of the tools. Some of these don't require any tools, some of them require very uh, little or basic stuff. Um, but we're going to get into the first one, which is just a inline crimp, okay? And you're going to need one of these tools for it. But before we do that, we're going to have to learn how to strip the cable. This is the easiest way in just using this tool and then just uh, carefully turn the wires. However, you may have twin core cable like this, a positive and negative attached to each other. You're going to have to separate them using a Stanley knife, like so. And then you can either use the tool or you can use a standing knife if you're very careful and don't go through the copper just to quickly pinch it on each side. Try and pull it slightly and then you can just gently pull it off with a set of pliers or if you're gentle like I'm using is a set of wire cutters and it just simply comes off like that. So that's your cables prepped and that's what you're going to be using for the whole of the duration of the video. So here's the crimping thing. You're just going to grab two bits of um, cable, obviously strip them. Place one end in one side so that there's no copper shown and then use your crimping tool just to push down gently. Make sure you use the right setting on this or it will just go straight through it or it won't make a good crimp. Once you put the other side in. Give it a little test and you can put shrink wrap around this just to neaten it up a little bit. The next method is very similar. You're gonna use the crimping tool again and it's gonna basically have a male and female end which you can then unplug and plug. Okay, you may find that um, you might have a switch which has got the male end in and you need to just connect a female end in. Um, this is what the, the male end looks like, quite simple, just push it through again, making sure that none of the copper is showing. Yep, crimp that bad boy in and then you're gonna attach them together. Give them a little tug. Now, if it just fell like this one, you're going to have to replace it. I just placed this one back in and recrimped it and it worked. Can put a bit of shrink wrap over it, okay, using a lighter to shrink it down uh, just to neaten it up again. This next method is absolutely ideal, okay, so you've got a few different sizes. Make sure you use the correct size and put it on first, okay. There's no point in connecting the cables together um, if you haven't got this on the cable ready to go. So it's got a bit of solder in the middle. This, lights, uh, this shrinks with just a lighter or a heat gun. Use the lighter or the heat gun to shrink the outsides of them first, the colored bits, and then move on to the solder, and it makes a really nice finish. It will be a little bit um, flexible to start off with, but with a bit of time, it will harden up, and then you can use it. Next method, all you need really for this is a little screwdriver. Okay, I'm gonna take one off and two off to show you two different methods with this. So if you're just connecting one cable to one cable, then you just use the singular one. However, you want to keep it neat and you're doing twin core to twin core, you can use the double one and it just makes, it just keeps it really neat. The next one is my absolute favorite technique is because you don't need any tools. They're simple to use and you can disconnect them easily for testing circuits. And that is using a Wagyu or a Wago. Um, I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments, but essentially all you do is pull the tabs up Put the cable in, push them down, wait for a click and give it a little pull. Same on the next one, and then cover it with electrical tape. Make sure you use the ones which are correct for your amperage. And they do come in different sizes as well. Just be careful, some of these do get a bit brittle. As you can see, they do snap sometimes. The technique's only used in an emergency, and you're just going to strip the wires, curl them together, and then put a bit of tape around them, making sure it's watertight. I wouldn't, I'd only use this as a temporary fix. Next one's very similar. What you're going to do is the same technique. But you're going to strip the wires, connect them together, making sure you put the heat shrink on first, and then use a lighter or a heat gun to heat shrink it down. So, thank you very much for watching. Here's a quick overview of some of the ones we've used today. Please make sure you like and subscribe, and check out the comments section. That's going to have the playlist 
for the caravan electric so all electrics for the caravan will be in there to help you on your way see you on the next one